Talk owner from South Africa. My name is Ivan Brown. I recently graduated from the University of Johannesburg with my master's in industrial design. I spent the past three years of my studies researching and designing an appropriate technology solution that has the potential to contribute towards global food security and socio-economic development. The outcome of the design research was a revolutionary new type of beehive. What is a beehive, you ask? Well, let's start at the very beginning. Humans have a long history with the honeybee. For hundreds of thousands of years, hunter-gatherers would find wild swarms and steal the honey from them. Somewhere along our endless course of development, we figured out that we could house these wild bees in hollow chambers, making it easier to collect honey and allowing us to keep them in safe, easily accessible spots. There were various methods of making chambers, and we also invented protective suits and smokers to keep the bees from stinging us. Flash forward to modern day, this is what beekeeping looks like all over the world. The standard beehive is a series of wooden or plastic boxes that house a swarm of bees and allow beekeepers to easily and relatively harmlessly extract honey and other valuable bee products. Beekeeping also has massive potential in developing nations for socio-economic development, specifically offering women often cannot earn land a means to make an income. When I started out with my research on designing appropriate technology for agriculture, I began to ask myself, why aren't there more people keeping bees? Why aren't there more commercially viable variations in beehive design? Why aren't beekeepers succeeding? And why is everyone using the same European beehive? The problem is, well, there are a lot of problems. For one, the beehives only last four to five years before needing to be repaired and painted. They are often destroyed by fires, even more often by pests and animals like termites, honey badgers, ants and bears. In many places, vandals can be an issue, which is better than in areas where outright theft has become prevalent. Then there's the pesticides and monocultures which are poisoning the bees, and the importation of cheap adulterated honey that local beekeepers cannot compete with, that has spread viral and bacterial diseases around the world. And it doesn't help that our beekeepers don't get along. Just joking, those are fences. But the problem is very serious. Up to two-thirds of our food is reliant on the honeybee for pollination, and in the past decade, over half the world's bee populations have disappeared. Although there is a lot of focus on new beekeeping technology, it was obvious to me that the solution is not a $700 beehive made overseas that doesn't even work. Instead, in the first round of design development, I identified a material that could be suited to low-cost, durable, locally-made, insulating beehives. Working with beekeepers and farmers, I designed a set of molds and a beehive that could be made from lightweight concrete, a semi-natural material that replaces stone and concrete with a lightweight aggregate like perlite, vermiculite or boiler ash. To test the solution, I spent two years working with expert farmers and beekeepers to measure the performance of the beehives and assess the DIY process of using the molds to make one's own beehive. The testing proved that the material and process of making your own beehives from lightweight concrete could be beneficial to the bees and the beekeeper. However, we identified lots of areas requiring improvement before the system would be implementable on a larger scale. Through a highly participatory design iteration process, we were able to appropriate the standard European beekeeping technology and develop something more accessible and sustainable. The final mold set comprises of simple one-part trays made from cheap but strong vacuum-formed plastic. Using the $600 set of three molds, anyone will be able to make a beehive for under $50, as easy as baking a cake. You simply mix the materials, pour them into the molds, let it cure, and remove the parts a day or two later. This allows the heavy, strong beehives to be made anywhere in the world, off-grid, with readily available materials and low-tech skills. The molds produce the bee bunker a beehive that fits the standardized internal components of regular beehives while providing a range of benefits like lasting forever and keeping the bees safe from a litany of threats as described before. In testing, the insulating properties alone doubled the honey yield when compared to standard wooden beehives. The goal of the project is to encourage and enable farmers to start keeping bees, beekeepers to start growing their businesses, and bees to start flourishing again. As it will mean embarking on a new trajectory, I call the project BEGIN.